Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another GTA Online video. And in this video, I'm gonna be uh, showing you how to make money while using the hangar and how you can mix that with other activities and improve your overall income. So let's get started. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna source a vehicle car, I mean, uh, cargo crates from the hangar, obviously. We're gonna source either um, chemicals or uh, cocaine, I think. Those are the best two, pharmaceutical, chemicals, and cocaine, narcotics, basically. Those are the three you should be sourcing, but uh, of those three, you should only be sourcing one of them at the time. Alright, so once you're done with that, you're gonna need at least four people in your association, so you get the maximum amount of crates per mission, alright. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do the mission right now. You're gonna need an impressor, maybe. Well, actually, you don't need one, but it would be advisable if you had one. Sometimes you have to use the vehicles they provide you, but other times you can use the ones you have, which makes it, the mission sometimes way easier. However, this money method, I have to say it's only good if you have people that will help you out play. If you don't have friends or people in the lobby that will help you out, then this won't be profitable at all. And you should also take into account it's way better when it's double money, alright? So, this money method isn't advisable. I mean, you could still do it, but it's better off if you do it when it's double money. Hence, that's why I'm doing it during this week, which is double money. Either way, let's get started. In this mission, we have to get the whole crew inside the... Just jump! Inside the helicopters, then we're gonna head to the mansion, steal the goods, deliver them, and that's basically it. So once we're done with that, I'll tell you what's next. The missions are usually pretty straightforward. Oh, fuck. Well... As long as you have four people helping you out, you should be good to go. Oh my guy, we're trying to this kill mission? their guys, which are actually not our guys, my guy. As you can see in this mission, we're just uh, having a little bit of difficulties killing them, but after that, we just uh, grabbed the cargo and we're went. We're getting coronavirus so lit, man. I wish I had it. By the way, guys, something very important you should keep in mind is if you don't have four people helping you out, then uh, you won't have the maximum amount of crates you can source at the time. That's why I told you ne you need at least at least four people because when you have four people, that will make four crates spawn during the mission. So that's what you want to look for. Otherwise, it's not profitable at all. Sourcing just one of them at a time, it's not worth it. So guys, once you're done with the delivery mission, uh, obviously your stock's gonna increase in value. As you can see, I have seven hundred twenty thousand dollars. Of worth of stock chemicals pretty much and guys you're gonna have around like i said a 10 minute cooldown before you can source any more of the same cargo now in, in that meantime we're gonna resign from our mc club you're gonna go into your secure serve you're gonna start a headhunter mission do it with your with your friends real quick and as soon as you're done with it you're gonna come back and source more uh crates that's pretty much it the purpose of doing this is because once uh, you start doing the headhunter mission, you will be making money while you wait for your cooldown to end. So once you're done with the headhunter mission, you're gonna get around 20k if it's not doubled. However, if it's doubled money, you will get 40k for doing the headhunter mission, and then you're gonna go back to your hangar and start the next sourcing mission. Remember, you have to source the same thing you've been sourcing before. Let's say you go for chemicals, you're gonna continue getting chemicals. If you go for narcotics, you continue grabbing narcotics until you fill it up because of the bonuses, right? And uh, I have to say, guys, that's basically it. It's a very easy method you can do. You can make a lot of money. This is a very, sp this is especially useful when you're playing with friends that can help you out, and when there's double money, either for the hangar or headhunter. And if both of them had have double money, then it's amazing, an amazing way to make money. And it's, it's very fun actually because, well, there's a lot of methods that I will be uploading, but this is one of the f most fun methods, basically because ha the missions from the hangar are very fun, they're very different, people don't play them that much often, so that's why I like them so much. It's a way to change the routine and still make a lot of money, very efficient. And I, ga I gotta say guys, if you are, um, if you have hangars, I mean if you have bunkers or MC businesses, you should definitely have them upgraded and uh, obviously fill to the brim with s stock so you guys can uh, be selling them constantly so they can fill up while you're doing this kind of work. 
that's a must for all of my oh. following videos all right guys you can still make money if you don't you. use your mc businesses or nightclub or bunker but i would suggest you had them and you you, you have them running in the background when you're doing this kind of stuff me and if you guys don't know about those businesses i have a full guide on them you guys can uh, yes, check out the power. full playlist in which it's i explain power, how man. all of them work and how to use them efficiently so that's uh, basically gonna be it for this video guys hope you enjoyed watching take care and i'll be uploading more legit money guides very soon that's it my guys take care